My name is Cherry Tung. I once got plastic surgery and I totally regret it. And this is that story. This all started in my freshman year when I was in college. Growing up in Shanghai, spending my teenage years there, I always thought I was not good looking enough. And I still remember when I was just a couple years old, my own grandma actually called me ugly. She said I'm the ugliest cousin out of all three female cousins. The beauty standards in China is just like pretty harsh. Like you have to be a size double zero, you have to wear XSS and clothes, and you have to basically look like a Barbie doll or you'll be considered ugly. When I got to college, I got in a relationship and it was all rainbows and butterflies. I felt like I was finally being loved unconditionally, being loved for who I am, until I realized that I had difficulty having sex with my boyfriend. We tried a couple times and I started thinking that is it because I'm not pretty enough? Is that why he couldn't get up when he sees me and every single time I try it's not even about the sex anymore it's more about can I make him want me again can I make him feel attracted to me again and the summer of my freshman year I decided to go get plastic surgery I had always had some insecurities around my nose and I always felt like my side profile doesn't look good enough and so I added this WeChat person. Uh, WeChat is kind of like messenger here. And so initially I was just, you know, looking at the pictures, scrolling to find like beauty inspiration. And then I saw this WeChat person is representing a hospital. I saw the before and after pictures and the changes were just so drastic. And so that made me feel like, wow, this is almost like a kind of like get rich quick, but like get pretty quick uh, procedure. And so, yeah, I just remember following that account for a while and uh, finally deciding to bite the bullet when it's summertime and I go back to Shanghai. So my family did not know and of course I sneaked out that day. I just told my parents, hey, I'm just seeing a friend. It was definitely one of the scariest things I've ever done in my life and looking back, I'm just so glad that I did die because honestly, I don't think that hospital is even legit. <laughs> I just remember going there and they didn't even test my blood, they didn't do anything and the same day I checked in, that was the day I had my procedures. The procedure that I got done is um, bridal plastic surgery. They take an implant. It doesn't like hurt that much during the procedure because you're numbed but afterwards you do feel quite a lot of pain over here. The toughest thing is to breathe because I have to breathe with my mouth and it makes my mouth really really dry and I'm not a mouth breather, so I'm not used to it. I don't know why I was like so naive. I thought I could just like go home and hide in my room and no one would see me during the recovery period, which is like 10 to 15 days, which is like not short. Like why would I think that my family wouldn't know? I just remember wearing a mask and a cap and just going back home normally, <laughs> of course. My dad, I think he first noticed and he was like, what's up with your face? Like, why do you have bruises? I mean, I couldn't explain it. I can't say I got beaten up because that would be even worse. And so I just told my dad, um, yeah, I, I got my nose done. And he was so angry. I've never seen him so angry. And I think part of it is because he thinks that by me getting work done, I don't look like him anymore. He thought that I was, you know, not grateful of what he has given me, which is like, I guess, my face. At that time, I just felt like all sorts of emotions coming towards me all at the same time. The plastic surgery itself also came with its complications. The implant that I got in my nose started kind of um, poking out a little bit, so you can kind of see the shape of the implant and under the sun my nose was like red and transparent and that again triggered another series of insecurities i felt like oh my gosh people are gonna know i got plastic surgery they're gonna know that you know even even if they consider me as pretty that'd be fake and i'd be an imposter i also felt strange having a strange substance in my body and I have no idea how my body's gonna react to it like years from now. And that fear really kept me up at night. Reading articles after articles about how to deal with your nose implant that has signs of poking out. And in the end, I decided to take it out. And uh, now my nose doesn't have any implant anymore, but it's still not the same as before because there are scarring tissues. So my nose still feels like harder than before. 
But um, at least there's no implant inside. At least I can not worry about stuff poking out of my nose. And it really took me so many years. I would say at least five years after that initial incident with my boyfriend at the time that made me realize that it's probably not my face. It's probably not my nose. It's something else. Like it's not about me. It's, it's not about the way I look. And it took me a long time to finally accept that the way I am, the way I'm born, it's all right. Since I also make personal finance YouTube videos, sometimes I would like look at my face and be, oh my gosh, what is this double chin doing? Even though it's like a personal finance channel, like who cares about my double chin? That's still something that I'm working on, but overall, I don't feel as insecure about my face anymore. Try not to give yourself too hard of a time because you're already going through a lot. Like don't forget to practice self-love because you deserve it.